Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Rumen. Welcome back to Ratchet and Clank, one of my most favorite games of all time. Alright, let's do this puzzle right here. Okay, let's see here. There, and then... That, and then... That. Super tricky, you guys. That was so hard. Let me get out this weapon, because I like it a lot. Go down here. Got some bolts. Right here you can see this wall, like, bend a little bit, depending on how far away you are from it. There are no enemies around, actually, so there's no point in me having a weapon out. Usually these uh, bolts have a little sound that, ha that they make when you spin them, but I guess I'm playing on an I'm playing on an emulator, so it's not gonna like some things aren't gonna be entirely accurate. Is what I'm saying. You'll get some sound glitches here and there. Sometimes these slingshots don't even appear. Like, the game will glitch out and just not have them appear. That kind of took me a while. You sure showed him. I suppose I did. <laughs> that's that's cute. Is your current occupation leaving a rotten taste in your mouth? Then you need to know about BTS, Blog Tactical Research Station. Hi, I'm Supreme Executive Chairman Drek, and we here at BTS are seeking motivated individuals to fill positions in these exciting careers. Grind boot tester. Warhead Assembly Technician, Mutant Animal Husbandry, Robot Repair Man, Suck Cannon Test Dummy, and Administrative Assistant. So call BTS. Build our weapons while you build your future. I'm calling BTS today. Now we're talking. Did you see all the cool gadgets they're making? Let's go get some. No, we must continue our search for Captain Quark. You're absolutely right. I am? Sure. We need to find Quark. Although when we find him, wouldn't it be nice to be able to tell him where Chairman Drek is? I suppose. Well, we go to the space station and talk to the scientists. They work for Drek, so they're bound to know where he is. I am unsure about your logic. Ah, you think too much. Come on, let's go. The funny thing about that commercial just now is that, like, every job that was listed kind of sucks. And you know, when you're desperate for a job in a capitalist society, you're bound to probably get one that just you just don't like at all. Anyway, over here. I got like 50 blaster ammo there, that's really nice. I always like this little hideout here. Alrighty, let's open this up. Actually, let's see if there are any new weapons. I don't think there are. I'm pretty rusty at this game. Love of Doom? That's a pretty good weapon, but I don't find much use for it personally. In fact, I think I already have my two favorite weapons. I just like the blaster and the ferocitor, really. The 
something over here. More money! These things right here, you get an item later that's optional to get, but these things can be useful. But most of them are like in the most inconvenient spots ever. If you're if you wear a certain mask that you get later, then you can get like a little guy to come out of those to help you. There are a couple useful ones, but most of them are kind of out of the way. I just destroyed that uh, aircraft with a wrench swing, and I think I got ammo from it. If that's the case, and that's interesting, because I didn't know you could get ammo from that. I'm gonna have to rewatch that. See, I destroyed that red thing. The red chainsaw thing. They get out the Pyrocitor. Really no shame in getting hit, honestly. There's Nanotech right there anyway. I think you can destroy this. Yeah. That's so cool. I think I need to change in the sound plugins on this emulator. Because I don't think every sound is playing. This is weird. Over here? You'd think there would be a gold bolt here, but there just isn't for some reason. It's like they forgot to put one there, or something. Nah, he's gonna go in the ground! Oh wait, that's not on this level. Later on, they can bury themselves into the ground, that could be a little bit annoying. This part's really cool. Because you can either go down there and fight the guys, or you can take this path up here instead. This game just gives you so many options to play with. So much replayability. But I mean, you might as well come down here to fight these guys. And then over here, there's something. This game may seem generous. Like, it may seem like you have enough bolts pretty much all the time because of how much, because of how much the game drops on you. But, grinding for bolts is actually really important in this game. You want to be careful. And you want to try to not buy ammo. You want to, like, you know, get all of your ammo from crates. And I have, I, I have not bought any ammo yet, and I already have, like, a very nice stock of ammo with me. Because I get all of my ammo from crates in this game. In Ratchet & Clank 2 and 3, it doesn't matter. You can just buy ammo from the vendor or whatever. It doesn't really matter. But in this one, you, you want to try to conserve your money. 
That guy seems really intimidating because he's really big, but he takes just as many hits as every other monster in this game. I mean, I mean every other enemy in this game. Sorry for calling the monsters. I, I've just been playing Silent Hill so much. I made a whole walkthrough on them of of those games on my channel. Over here, very nice. There are bolts hidden around every corner. And bomb glove, might as well. More bolts there. Whoa, look at me almost jumping off. That's cool to me. Look at that. A lot of people look at that and go, oh, it's a mistake. That ship uh, is clearly behind the scenery. But no, I, I think that's like cool and dreamlike. Honestly, I love video games. Did you see that ship that I was that I saw? I saw it. It was way cool. And bomb glove. Hey, he shot his own guy. Also, did, did you see that? That guy faded away. See that? Look at that. Anyway, yeah, that, that enemy faded away. That's because life in this game is nanotech. He faded into nanotech. I wonder if Ratchet and Clank coined that term. I don't know. I don't think they did. Because the word nanotech is used in other things. But I don't know if um it's a, if if that word is originally from Ratchet and Clank or not. So many bolts. This is a really good weapon, in my opinion. This is a very overlooked weapon, but honestly, I, 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 I think this weapon's really good, honestly. Like... I swear the shooting accuracy on this thing is more accurate than the blaster. And it can really destroy a small crowd. Think of it like the Pyrocitor, except infinite ammo. Well, on smaller enemies. That's that planet. That's all I have to do there. The uh, suck cannon is optional. You do not have to get that. But I do like to get it because I just like it a lot. Okay. Now, wait a minute. Not this one. Uh. Okay, yeah, this one. Nebula G34. Sorry about that. I've, I'm, I'm rusty, so I forgot which plant to go to. I have not played this game in a while. Larg Station. This is one of my favorite levels, actually. So yeah, that was Eudora. I really like that planet. I, I actually like every planet in this game, so it's probably gonna, be, gonna get redundant me saying that I like this planet too. And I also like that one. So so yeah, thank you for watching. That was Eudora, and now we're at uh, G334, whatever it's called. And this is gonna be a lot of fun. Thank you for watching.